The late Queen Elizabeth's dogs still remember the route she would take them on, Sarah Ferguson has revealed on her podcast. The Duchess of York, who adopted two of the Queen's dogs upon her passing last year, said she and Prince Andrew took the pooches on the same walk the late monarch would do before heading to the royal family's Scottish haven, Balmoral Castle, for the summer. The 63-year-old mother of two, speaking on her podcast Tea Talks released on Thursday, told how the dogs had showed her the way. After the Queen died in September last year, Fergie adopted her ex-mother-in-law's corgis, Mick and Sandy, taking her and Andrew's total number of dogs to seven. The grandmother of four, who lives at Royal Lodge on the Windsor estate with her ex-husband Prince Andrew despite their split almost 30 years ago, is currently recuperating following breast cancer surgery. Prince Andrew and Fergie will be invited to Balmoral this summer Fergie told how she had been watching a lot of Wimbledon and struggling to get out for a walk, joking that the needy dogs did not quite understand that she was not as mobile post-surgery. The Duchess underwent an eight-hour mastectomy and reconstructive surgery last month after she was diagnosed with the disease during a routine mammogram. Speaking to her co-host and friend, entrepreneur Sarah Thompson, Fergie said, Having seven dogs, they don't understand perhaps I'm not as mobile as I was so they're going hello? It's all about me. Dogs are very needy aren't they sometimes? They're corgis, they're used to people coming in and taking them for walks, so they look at me going and your point is what? You've got your feet up, watching Wimbledon. Oh no, mum, you're out, we have things to do. Although she has not been quite as active due to her recovery, Fergie said she did manage to get out with the dogs and take them down memory lane with Andrew, a moment that was poignant for them both. She said, I took all the seven doggies yesterday to where the Queen would have walked them and so I was chatting to them saying now where do we go? And they were sort of showing me the way. The Duchess, who shares two children with the Prince, insisted that the dogs knew the way they had walked around the Windsor estate. Andrew has lived in the £30 million Royal Lodge since 2003. The 30-room mansion lies just a five-mile drive from where the late Queen lived on the estate. Don't miss! Sarah Ferguson admits surgery has taken toll as she struggles to care for corgis, latest, Prince Andrew feels lonely without his mum and dad and thinks of them a lot, report, Sarah Ferguson takes late Queen's corgis down memory lane in sweet tribute, insight, Fergie added, there was a little woodland walk that was made especially for the Queen. Just so special, it was actually very wonderful to have a moment to remember. Because this time last year, the Queen would have been going to Balmoral and we would have walked exactly where we walked yesterday together and the Queen would have said see you up in Scotland. The Duke and Duchess reminisced and shared a tender moment as she asked how he was coping without his mother and father, who both died within a little over a year of each other. The Duchess recounted how she and Andrew then sat under some beautiful trees and he confided that feels lonely, having lost both his parents in quick succession. All episodes of Tea Talks are available here. Melting